it's a fleeting thing for a lot of people. <clears throat> they may have it one moment、uh, because of an achievement, and they feel worthy. And they go the next moment and don't do something so well, and they feel like they're not they're not worthy, and they feel worthless. Your opinion when you hear self worth? When I hear self worth, it's funny、uh, because as as I get older, my definition of self worth it is changing. I'm learning that you cannot earn self worth, and the world is never going to give it to you. The world is never going to give you self worth. The moment you are born, you have self worth. The moment that you take that first breath, regardless of if your parents wanted you or not, regardless of of your race, your gender, who you are, your abilities, you have self worth. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, right? And I, I won't go on that <laughs> path. There's a lot of different paths you can go from there, but just trust me and, and believe what I'm saying.、Um, you have self worth, and, and that's one of the biggest things that that we want people to to take away、uh, with our show, The Real Deal. And, and why at the end of every show we tell every guest, "You're the real deal," because you are. No matter what you've done, what you feel like you should be doing. Who you think you are, where your identity lies, you have self worth, and sometimes we think, oh, you know, once I accomplish this thing or once I gain this title, I will be worthy of X, Y, and Z, right? And while I do believe there are certain things tangible that you have to earn in this life, hey, if you want that big house, you got to go and earn it, right? You do not have to earn your self worth, right? Because you you have something to off, offer, there's no one else in this world that is like you. There's no one else in this world that has the same thought patterns as you do. This has been proven. While you may share some personality traits with other people, and you may share some DNA with other people, there's no one else in this world that has the same type of of, of footprint that you have. On this earth, right? And I'm not just talking about the U.S. It's no matter where you are in this world, because tomorrow you could be shipped somewhere else, right? And that is all a part of of, of a big plan, your purpose, right? And so, as I continue to grow, I'm learning that that self worth is is not something that's given to you, and it's not something that earned. And it took a long time for me to learn that. For the longest time. I, And it was a part of my upbringing. It was like you have to do, 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 and do more. And once you think you've done enough, do even more than that, right? Because this world isn't going to be kind to you. This world isn't going to see that you're smart enough. They're not going to think that you're that you're wealthy enough. They're not going to think, even if that's not true, they are not going to see you the way that <laughs> that we see you. You know, that was kind of a big thing that my parents taught me. So they taught me how to work hard. Oh my goodness! It taught me how to work hard. My dad taught me how to cut the grass. I cut the grass with him on the weekends, and I am thankful for that. But also, I am learning that that does not define my self worth, because that leads to burnout. That leads to striving well beyond where you should, you know, be striving. Right? Most of the things that I've accomplished in life, while I would like to believe it was hard work, and I am a hard worker. None of the things that I accomplished came from that hard work, right? That hard work kept me there, but that is not how I gained access to the places that that I that I wanted to go.、Um, it was not luck. That's not what I'm saying either. It was me navigating these spaces in a in a very strategic way, right? Knowing that this is what I'm going to have to do. But if I'm staying up all night until five o'clock in the morning trying to overprove my worth. I'm going to be useless in this position, right? So it, it's it's all about knowing your worth, and then when you know that, no one can take it from you, right? When you a- a- establish self worth, it is something that should be permanent. I'm not saying there aren't days that you aren't going to have a lack of confidence, right? We all wake up, and sometimes, like today, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> not today. But there are days、um, your self worth it once you own it. People cannot treat you any kind of way. You're not going to settle for the things that this, this world is going to throw at you. You're not going to take less money than you think you, you ought to have, right? 
I'm, I'm going to be careful with this for the uh, the younger folks who are just getting out of college. You're not going to make six figures as soon as you graduate. I'm just saying that right now. Um, when I'm talking about self-worth, which is knowing that one day you are worth that, right? And working towards that, which means that you probably aren't going to take a job that only pays you $10,000 a year when you first get out of college, because you know that there's no growth from there. There's no real growth, right? But knowing that you have something to offer. And if you don't know what that is, knowing that you can figure that out, knowing that there's something there, you just haven't figured it out yet, right? Knowing that opens up more doors than the hardest work can, right? I've had people who've come up to me and been like, hey, I want you to be a part of this just because they look at me and they know that girl knows something about herself. There's something about her, right? And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because I want you to do the same thing. I want you to go and say, look, I have something to offer, right? Not everybody's going to respect that, right? Uh, there's a story that's going around social media about the girl whose father gave her uh, an antique Jeep. She took it to one place. Uh, he says, here, I want to get this to you, but take it and see how much money you can get it for it. She took it to one place. They only offered her $1,000. They said, it's okay, but it needs some work. She took it to another place. They only offered her $100 because they say, oh my goodness, the engine's busted, all this other kind of stuff, right? She took it to an antique show. They offered her six figures for this Jeep. Her father said, the lesson is, is know where you belong and where you're going to be valued. Because if you're in the wrong place where people can't see your worth and you don't know your worth, you're going to take $100 for something that's worth six figures, right? And so that has stuck with me. <laughs> that's That's something that my parents really tried to teach me. And for a long time, it took a, a while for that to permeate, you know, and take hold. But now no one better come up to me and say, hey, and, and try and tell me my worth and offer me something that I don't believe is what I'm worthy of. I will sit here and do nothing before I take something that is below what I believe I am worth. Right. And I think if more of us did that we would be in a different place. You know, we would just be in a different place. Not to get, you know, too political or anything, but I just believe that things would change. Um, and people would live happier lives if they if they were to learn that um, soon as possible. <laughs>